Alrighty everyone, well a few months ago I travelled into the jungles of western Bali in the hope to have some amazing experiences with some Indonesian wildlife. Now while I was over there I had some awesome encounters with some huge snakes, including watching a 4.8 metre long king cobra attack and eat a smaller spitting cobra and even touching a huge king cobra right on its head. But the most epic experience that I had over there is something that not many 12 year old kids have ever done. So watch closely because here's what happened. I have always been interested in cobras and the traditional snake charmers of India. Now not all snake charmers remove the fangs from the snakes or drug them to perform in front of an audience. While the snakes are performing in front of their trainer, it is quite common to see their trainer actually playing an instrument like a flute, but a lot of people actually think that is the music that the snakes respond to. But this is a myth, king cobras can't hear the music that their snake charmer is playing. They actually respond to the movement of the flute instead, which is why I was super excited to test out my theory that the king cobra enters a trance-like state when it is fixated with something right in front of it. I first decided to test out this technique by touching this huge king cobra right on its head. But instead of the king cobra being focused on an instrument, we had one of my guides wave a hat right in front of this huge snake. And just like I thought it would, he instantly pulled all of his attention away from everything else and focused right on the hat. He didn't even mind me being centimeters away from him. As you would know if you've watched one of my previous videos, the king cobra is a cannibalistic snake, meaning it eats other snakes. They are also the largest venomous snake in the world and one of the most feared snakes in Indonesia just because of its pure size and dominance. When you get bitten by a king cobra, you will suffer from extreme pain, drowsiness, blurry vision, loss of consciousness, and eventually, if untreated, death. Quite a lot of the bites from king cobras happen when the female is guarding her 20 to 50 eggs that she buried under some leaves after mating season. 90 days later she will abandon these eggs just before they hatch, which makes scientists believe that it may be to avoid the temptation of eating her babies as she is starving by this point. So after rescuing a huge 4.2 meter long king cobra from somebody's backyard, we stopped in to get lunch and my guide let me have an amazing one-on-one -on -one experience before we let this big guy go. And I haven't been able to release this footage yet, so I really hope you enjoy it. Here's what went down. Really, really good. Now, although I would have kissed this cobra over six times, that first time was something that I'll truly never forget, knowing at any moment this king cobra could have turned around and given me the kiss of death. Hey guys, thanks for watching and if you like this video, be sure to leave a like and subscribe as I'm going to be posting plenty more videos very soon. And I've decided to run another competition, but this time what you're going to be trying to win is a channel shout out. I'll be giving you a shout out in my next video. It'll just set you up. Hopefully I'll get you a few more subscribers. And all you have to do to enter this competition is like this video, subscribe to my channel and leave a comment down below of what your favorite animal is and why. And finally, I just wanted to say that I've only got a couple more of these hats left and um, they're actually really cool, about 10 of each left. So you gotta get them quick. You can order them now and they'll be here before Christmas. And I've also decided to release these new camo shirts. They're awesome, they're really flexible, sets you up for all of your adventures out in the bush. And I'm also gonna be doing a package of this hat and this shirt. So you can check that out on my website, thefutureisnature.com. Thank you.